This is bodybuilding. <laughs> full-time professional businesswoman and also now WNBF pro figure athlete. So I'm here with Amber Samsleven. She uh, she just won her pro card, uh, same show that I did uh, here in Canada. And uh, I just think she's a re really remarkable woman. She's got a lot of things going on for her outside her, uh, her competition uh, lifestyle. And I think she could really share a lot for you ladies uh, to get you guys, you, you ladies motivated, uh, you know, just kind of addressing some of the situations that she's been, you know, forced to push herself through and how she succeeded. And, and, I, and I'd really like to pick her mind for that. So maybe we'll just get started and then and ask, uh, you know, how was how was your uh, road to uh, contest prep and how was that, uh, you know, kind of talking to the, to the lady friends and everything, let them know, you know, what you're doing and, and explaining how you're different now and, you know, how you can't go out and eat that cake every Sunday whenever all the other ladies are out doing that. Well, um, definitely as the years progressed um, and as I got more into the clean eating lifestyle and the, and the weight training and the, and the regimen, people saw it was a progression and it took time for all friends and family to really, you know, be supportive oftentimes you get a bit of resistance um, and you get the, oh, just have one bite, it won't hurt you. Um, but, you know, when you show people that you're dedicated and you've got a big goal in mind and that you're on, you're on the path to success, they really do um, support you in the end, so just stick with it. So, so what about the ones that call you a big quack? Like, you're crazy. <laughs> you, you, you know, you, maybe this is too much work. What do you say to them? So you gotta pick. You gotta pick your surroundings, and that's how that'll help you get through. Absolutely. Okay, I agree with that for sure, for sure. Okay, so you mentioned that. Uh, so are, are you are you scared to get too big? Like, do you do you think that you're gonna gain too much muscle and start looking like a, a guy, or or what what's your take on that? So you must be happy as a, as a pro. You got a new package, and and so you're sporting off. So did you? Are you uh, planning on putting on a whole lack of muscle, or or is it? It's like for me, I just want everything bigger and better. Uh, how about as a lady? Like, what what are your goals, and what do you want to do to help you know make that nice hourglass shape? Or uh, and you're a figure competitor, is that right? That's correct. Right. So you're looking to what are you looking on looking to do for your next uh, pro show? Okay, so uh, you mentioned that you're doing some resistance training. How do you feel about working next to a 210-pound pro bodybuilder a la Delia Cano, grunting and, and uh, smashing weights, as I like to put it? How do you feel about that? And I see my head up and I and I 
focus on that mind muscle connection and I train for form and for you know um, and you really do see that as time goes on you get a you get a lot of respect for training diligently in the gym and it's not about how you know the big weights that you're lifting or how much you're grunting or smashing <laughs> You know what? Uh, as guys, we, we you know we like we like to see a nice nice looking woman walk in the gym, and and you know a lot of guys they have the respect to to know that you're in there to to do your thing, you know. So I I don't think any woman should have any uh, any uh, you know hesitance to go and, and and work out because in the end, you know, once once someone's actually training and they're focused, you know, everything else is pretty much you know like similar like watching TV, everything else just becomes a blur, and you just focus on one thing at a time, you know. So I, I don't think any woman should be intimidated by uh, by training alongside you know in a in a in a, a predominantly male atmosphere. Um, that's just my take. I've never really I, that's my rule of thumb actually is to not to bother the ladies in the gym. So. Yeah, no, and it's good. And, and the thing is, you know, you set the tone. You know, teach your head tone off. Don't be focused on what you're doing, and you know you'll make friends along the way. Uh, and that are there to, to support you and you can learn from and, and vice versa. Okay, okay. So uh, where do you, uh, where do you, where did you learn how to lift weights? Did you, did you like, you know, have like an older brother or something show you how, or did you just kind of go to the gym and pick off of like the other people that you, you know, you thought were doing a good job, or, or how did it all come together? Well, you know, when I was young, when I was a young teenager, I always liked the look of, of, of a muscular, you know, feminine woman. Rachel McLish kind of look, you know, she really set the standard for, you know, beauty in female bodybuilding. And uh, and my dad lifted some weights in the basement, you know, not seriously, but he was in good shape and he took care of himself in that regard. And I didn't really lift weights at that time, but once I got into high school, I kind of learned a little bit. And then and then it was really me and my own research once I became uh, an, an adult and just wanted to find a sport that worked for me and that was an individual endeavor. And, and yeah, just, just time goes on. And right now, there is so much um, amazing information out there in terms of YouTube and, and fitness videos on, on online that you can learn how to do any move. So you want to learn how to deadlift, and there's you know tons of different awesome videos that you can look at and learn proper form and technique. I always uh, when I was when I was growing up, I always would uh, I would always uh, watch the bodybuilders that I thought I wanted to be like. And uh, I'd always learn from from them personally, and then uh, that's kind of how I picked up my training. and And I think a lot is to do with knowing your body. You you, you need to understand your body before you can approach any lift, and and before you can actually get too involved in it, you have to understand what you're trying to do. You know. That's right, and you know I, I often see you know a, a man or a woman in the gym that is you know working on a you know a particular move that I, I'm like I'll walk up. To Hey, that's, that's really awesome, you know, like, tell me about that move and what is it doing for you and, you know, let's, you know, show me how you, how you do it kind of thing. So, yeah, there's, there's lots to learn out there and yeah, you got to just exactly find out what you want to achieve and, and uh, figure out what you want to, what you want to look like and what your body has the potential for and, and just go for it. So, I think we talked earlier, I'll just get to the, to, to the discussion here. Um, setting a goal is, is one of the main things to excel getting on stage is another thing. You work tirelessly to, 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 to get your body in the, in the best shape. Uh, how do you deal with the self-consciousness of being on stage? I, I, I'm, I'm sure for women that must be just the most frightening thing to, to get on stage and, and be on display. And then how could you kind of, you know, coax a woman into to thinking, you know what, it'll be okay, just give it a try and, and you know, and uh, this is an actual realistic goal for you to want to do. Thank you. 
pajama backstage. There is nothing but supportive ladies back there to help you with your tan, you know, help you with some makeup, and, you know, it's a really great little community. Yeah, you ladies are so friendly towards each other, sharing the bathrooms together, and, uh, you know, I just think it would be so much easier if the guys were like that too backstage, because more of it's like, hmm, is he doing a lat spread? I wonder, what's he got? What's he got? <laughs> and you ladies are so friendly, you know. I uh, I think a lot of ladies would really appreciate uh, after hearing us talk, and I uh, really appreciate your time, Amber. Uh, so thank you. That's Amber Sam Flabin, WNBF pro figure uh, uh, competitor, and I wish you all the best in your next pro show. Thank you very much. Okay, Amber. Bye.